welcome back. We're with you now live right through till 12.15 and um, Richard was in tears this weekend after the sun. <laughs> <laughs> They're right back now. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed his socks off. Um, after the Sun newspaper pointed out this weekend that he hasn't had a new hairstyle for the past 10 years. We launched a campaign and we suggested maybe four different styles that he should adopt. One of which was Ali G, another was David Beckham. Um, you know, we, we didn't think they'd go along with it. We would like you to tell us which cut, which, you know, the Sun so carefully did for us, they put up four computer simulations, would suit him best. It was astounding because they all thought, obviously, that Ali G was the way to go for Richard. We had thousands of votes, but Ali G was by far the winner, so um, the idea was, well, if the viewer wants that, let's give it to them. Yes, some TV moments are just so bad, they're good. And when Richard Madeley was bad, he was even better. In a parallel TV universe, this really would be the greatest TV moment of all time, as Richard ends up finding heaven in TV hell. When you realise what's happening, you start to watch it through your fingers, because you think, I think Richard Murdley is going to do an Ali G impression and this can end in nothing but tears. Morning then. I is here with my Judy to ask her some questions about this morning. Oh. Now Judy, when you was presenting with Richard, what does your real husband think? Richard, you are my real husband. I, I always thought you was like pretending. No, Ali. We really are married. Oh, respect. You know, we couldn't believe it because out of nowhere came this um, amazing accent and attitude as well with all the actions. Um, you know, he's obviously a keen viewer of Ali. What is it about him that you like? Oh, he's very nice. No, you know what I was meaning. W what is it about him that you like? Well, he's very kind and he can be extremely... No, no. Judy, Judy, what is it about him, right, that, you know, makes you want the kids to go out away for a while and you go upstairs early to bed? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I'm not going to start stroking your ego here. Oh, that would be wicked, though, Judy. <laughs> don't you think it would be the business to have some cooking on sometimes? But we do. I mean, yesterday, for example, Susan Brooks was making cake in her Yorkshire kitchen. Cake? For real? Yeah. I have to say, in defence of this, that the costumes is actually fantastic. The way he's learnt his lines is actually brilliant, and the attention to detail is really admirable, but you probably wouldn't want to watch it more than once. Why does he bother with all the makeovers? Why don't you just get women who is fit to start with? I mean, Rosemary Connolly's extremely fit, actually. What, you was telling me you think Rosemary Connolly is fit? Of course. You was very frank, Judy. I think he did really well, and as a sort of a mainstream sort of family entertainer, to go on ITV at 10 in the morning and allude to drug taking and lesbianism, I mean, good lad, you know. Wicked! I think it's like stirring patriotic music should start to, to well up behind him as he's speaking because you think, you know, he's going to pull it off. Plucky old Richard. Now finally, I was noticing that there is no sign of Richard. Is it okay if I, Ali, does the show with you today? Uh, what, looking like that? I'm afraid not. Is it because I is black? Oh. Although it shouldn't work and it should be terrifying and you can feel yourself getting slick palmed with embarrassment on Richard's behalf in the early stages, I think he pulls it off. Telepathy. <laughs>